All right, welcome back. Uh, let me see if I can set this up a little bit better to make sure you guys can hear me. So I was going to play the Final Fantasy II on Game Boy. Um, I did not realize that this game does not have leveling up. And I got KO'd. I mean, I got destroyed. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and hit... I'm going to keep their name. So I, I, I got manhandled. It, it, was, it was terrible. Had me rethink my whole existence. So I looked up the best version of the game and they said it's this one. I mean, it already looks awesome. It's awesome. Emperor Palamechia has called forth monsters from the underworld and has begun his campaign for world conquest. Wow, they look good. A rebel army arose in the kingdom of Finn that thwart the Emperor's plan. But all the rebels' castles fell to an all-out assault by the Empire. Left with little choice, the rebels withdrew to the remote town of Altair. Wow, this game looks good. Four youths from Flynn also found themselves fleeing the Imperial forces. They had lost their parents at the hands of the Empire. But their escape wasn't over. Oh yeah, this game looks a lot better. And go ahead and say goodbye to all four of my characters because they're about to get white. There is not a fight here. Ha. Goodbye. Game over! So this game had a lot of things that none of the other games had. And um, things they never did again. I've seen the ask and the, the word game thing they have in this. I've seen that in other games. Alright, here we go. Uh, look away, epileptics. Will he live? He will. I sense a strong life force within him. He should regain consciousness soon. We found them like this on the escape from Finn, falling from terrible wounds. By the time we brought them here, I feared it was already too late. His life is not in danger. The sigil, sigil will strengthen his life force. We should let him rest now. Of course. We'd best be off to the meeting. I imagine they're already waiting for us. If the Empire is allowed to complete the Dreadnought, they're, they're building in... Basque? Their attack will begin in earnest. We cannot sit idly by and watch. We must act. I read that this is kind of like Star Wars ripped off. I'm okay with that. I like Star Wars. Alright, wake up, sir. Where am I? Leon, Maria, Guy, where are you? Fear and you're alive. I, I, I thought I thought you'd. I'm fine, Maria. What is that in his hair? Like, oh, he's supposed to be a gypsy or something. You're all right too, guy. But wait, where's Leon? Uh oh. Oh, his face. Oh. Princess of Finn, save us. Leon not here. So, look, let me get this right. They redid the whole graphic because they gave him that face? I see. Don't worry, I'm sure he's okay. Okay, I'm still not in control. It's a lot of story first. A lot of blah blah blah. Alright. So you're, you've regained your strength. Very good. I'm not doing female voices. We've had this discussion. Your life force is strong indeed. It was you who saved us, wasn't it? Thank you. Forgive me, your highness. 
but there is something I must ask of you. Please allow us to join the rebel army. I could never allow such a thing. Well, damn. You know nothing of battle. You would only be throwing your lives away. Tataru. You should return to your homes. But we have no homes. Not anymore. The Imperials attacked and our parents... Our parents... I'm truly sorry, but even so, this changes nothing. I cannot permit you to join our army. You know where else to go, go. You're welcome to stay here in Altera. If you know our password, you should be able to live here well enough. The password is Wild Rose. Remember well. Okay, so this is the password system. You can ask. You learn it, and you can ask. You can ask people these things. You're gonna learn all kinds of stuff in the game. The Wild Rose and the insignia of the Kingdom of Finn. I kind of like the concept of this game. I wish this game leveled up too. It represents our hope for a future that flourishes in both strength and beauty. But what will become of Finn now? I've heard that the Empire's captives have been taken there and suffer even as we speak. Maria, your brother Leon is missing, is he not? It's possible that he's being held in Finn as well. Why would you tell us that? But Finn is far too dangerous now. The Emperor's beast will stalk the streets. Gaining entrance to the city will not be easy. The man at my right is Minwu, the white wizard who tended your wounds. Speak with him before you leave. He may have be he may be of some assistance. So why would you tell them where he might be and then tell them that you're not powerful enough to go in there? I see your destiny clearly. The future it holds seems closely entwined with my own. You will be my you will begin by journeying to Finn. That is the first step toward to realizing your fate. <laughs> You've wasted no time using the password. Eat well the information it will bring you. You can learn much of value by listening. I offer you one more bit of advice before you depart for Finn. Those who have fallen in battle can be revived at a sanctuary. Should one of you fall before you reach Finn, go without hesitation to the nearest sanctuary. Alright, good to know. Come here. The Port of Paloom lies not far east of here, but a lake separates us so you won't be able to reach the town without a canoe. Alright, so we need a canoe. Heading to Finn, are we? It's not my place to tell you what to do, but I'd reconsider if I were you. It's a dangerous place to be. You see, the city is crawling with the Empire's monsters. To the north lies a small village called Gatria. Judging by the look of you, you'd be lucky to make it that far. Hey! Before you go anywhere, I suggest you visit the room with the sigil that saved your life. There you'll find people who can teach you a thing or two about adventuring. I think you're going to need all the advice they can spare. Kind of rude. Like, they really underestimate me. I mean, I just did get my ass royally handed to me, so maybe they're right. King of Finn. An arrow struck me in the back during the battle, leaving me in this state. Perhaps I really have grown old. My daughter Hilda now serves as regent. You should speak with her. I already have. And getting hit in the back with an arrow does not make you old. Kind of a weird place for you to be shot. Anyway. Uh, I believe there's a treasure in here. There is not. I am wrong. You heard anything to say? You're in the rebel hideout of the town of Altair. Thank you. Gordon the Prince of Kashun is hiding out here in Altair. I don't know what happened, but something has made him lose faith in himself. Yes, he's a coward. Princess Hilda fled here when Finn was sacked. She is doing a remarkable job of leading the rebel army while His Majesty recovers. So I've noticed that the uh, NPCs in this game either have a lot to say or very, very little. There's like no in-between. Alright, while we're out here, go talk to this guy. I'm Paul. Whoa. Another ugly, ugly guy. Greatest thief in all the world. They've got, they've yet to invent the loot. I can't burgle, that's not a word, or steal. The Imperial coffers have kept my purse fat with guild lately. I never steal from the rebels. You can be sure that my home was in Finn too. I can't even go home now that the Empire has occupied the city. Alright, that's one of the guys you need to talk to. Go talk to this guy. My name is Gordon, and I was once a Prince of Kashun. Now I'm nothing but a coward. When my brother Scott fell in battle, I abandoned my kingdom and fled here. So you've asked to take up arms in the struggle. I'm so afraid Hilda will turn me away that I haven't even asked her. I've been stalling her. I'm just a spineless coward. Go ahead, laugh. I deserve it. Dude. Dude. Chill. 
This is the town of Walter. The Imperial forces haven't been deployed this far out yet. I suppose it's only a matter of time, though. Alright. Okay. Don't buy the buckler. I'm gonna buy three. No. Three of these. Uh, uh, I keep hitting the wrong button. Alright. Okay, that's nice. How do I how do I pull up my okay? The buttons are the buttons are different on this because Nintendo only had two buttons. So I'm gonna have to learn the new buttons. All right, before uh, I could buy weapons, but I want to buy magic first. I want to get uh, one of my characters healed. All right. So when you buy magic in this. Ah, uh, it's gonna take me a second. You go to items, and you give it. So I'm gonna give it to Maria, because since she's in the back. Alright. Do I have any money for, uh, any weapons? Or am I out of money? I'm out of money. Alright. So we're gonna level up. These are goblins? Did I, did I get to fight anything? So the leveling up in this is weird, and I haven't quite mastered it yet. I'm gonna speed this up. And I chose this one because from what I've heard, there is no leveling down in this. Uh, I should have slowed it down for that one. Alright, so we got hornets here. They look like what you think they should look like. Hornets. Why do you keep running? I need you guys to stay in the fight so I can level up. I want to get to 100 HP. So one of the things that helps you do that is you want to drop their life to about halfway before you heal them. So if you want, you can go ahead and stop the video here because this is just going to be me grinding until... I'm about 15 minutes in. Okay, now I'm going to slow it down because you didn't see these guys. So when you see me next, if everything goes as planned, each of my characters will have 100 life. And they will have 50 magic. I don't know if I'm actually going to make it that far. I'm going to try. Um, this is going to be a short video, but... There's nothing else I can really show you until I'm at that level. So until next time, adios amigos.